Hello students, welcome to Drishti IAS. My name is Saloni Nandkyolir and in this session we will study cold waves because Telangana at the moment is experiencing a cold wave situation. So we will see what a cold wave is and what is the reason behind this cold wave in Telangana. So the Indian Meteorological Department has actually warned of a cold wave in parts of Telangana. So let's begin by understanding what do we mean by cold wave. So cold wave actually is a meteorological phenomena wherein the temperature of an area falls below normal. It gets colder than normal. So this is what a cold wave is. And right now Telangana is experiencing cold wave. Now the Indian Meteorological Department has actually given some conditions and based on those conditions we decide if an area is experiencing a cold wave or not. So what are those conditions? The first set of conditions is around the absolute temperature. So if the temperature of an area is between 0 degree Celsius to 4 degree Celsius, we are talking about plain areas. If the temperature is between 0 degree Celsius to 4 degree Celsius, we say that the area is experiencing a cold wave. Here we are talking about the absolute temperature of an area. And if the same area is experiencing a temperature below 0 degree Celsius, then what is that? This is a severe cold wave. So if the temperature is between 0 degree Celsius to 4 degree Celsius, it is a cold wave. If it is below 0 degree Celsius, it is a severe cold wave. This is condition number one where we talk about the absolute temperature of an area. Now, Please understand that for an area, even if the temperature is not below 4 degrees Celsius, at times that area could still be experiencing a cold wave. How? Now, think of this. If the normal temperature for an area is, let's say, 25, uh, 25 degrees Celsius, normally there is a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius in that area. Now, for that area, a temperature even as high as 15 degrees Celsius will still be called a cold wave because there is a departure, there is a huge departure from the normal temperature of that area. The normal for them is 25. So, 10 degrees Celsius is also going to be a cold wave. 15 degrees Celsius is also going to be a cold wave for them. It is not necessary that the temperature has to fall below. 4 degrees Celsius for an area to experience a cold wave. Sometimes it can also be dependent on the departure from normal, departure from the normal temperature. So if this departure or let us say the drop from the normal temperature is between 4.5 degrees Celsius to 6.4 degree Celsius. If the drop in the temperature is between 4.5 degree Celsius to 6.4 degree Celsius, we say that that area is experiencing cold wave. And if this drop is more than 6.5 degree Celsius, then we say that there is a severe cold so, even if the temperature is not below 4 degrees Celsius, even in those cases, some areas can still be experiencing cold wave or severe cold wave because there is a huge departure from what? From the normal temperature of that area. So, these are some conditions that have been decided by the IMD and when these conditions are met, we say that cold wave is present in an area or a severe cold wave is present in an area. And right now, Telangana is experiencing cold wave. Parts of Telangana, they are experiencing cold wave. Now, a characteristic about these cold waves is that this is far more common in northern India in comparison to the southern part. North India sees more cold waves in comparison to the southern parts of the country. And one of the possible reasons here is the proximity to the Himalayas. Because there is cold air that is coming in from the Himalayas due to the proximity from the Himalayas, northern part of the country experiences more cold waves in comparison to the southern part. Occasionally, we do see cold wave in southern parts also. That is what we are witnessing in Telangana at the moment. But normally, it is more in the northern parts in comparison to the southern part. One reason is the proximity to the Himalayas. 
then western disturbances are another set of reasons these western disturbances also carry cool air with them and because of them also the northern part of the country stays cooler in comparison to the southern part when it comes to cold waves so the cold wave situation is more prominent in northern part in comparison to the southern part and then the air is also dry so when the air is dry which means that there is lack of humidity or lack of moisture the air remains cooler because moisture what does it do moisture actually slows down the cooling so dry air will be cooler dry air is cooler than the moist air because moisture slows down cooling and we see dry air situations more in northern parts of the country in comparison to the southern parts so north india prominently it has more uh, more cold wave situation but southern india also witnesses it and the reasons behind the cold wave situation in telangana at the moment could be first the cold dry winds from north india as i just told you that there are cold winds dry winds in north india so some of these cold winds they also flow down to the southern parts of the country so the cold dry winds from north india are also causing this cold wave situation in telangana then we have clear skies clear skies what do they mean that there is a lack of clouds if this is the ground the skies are clear then by the phenomena of radiative cooling the surface is going to stay cool because there is no blanket of air there is nothing basically to trap the heat so radiative cooling is going to happen because the skies are clear clouds are not there to trap the heat so the ground so the air near the ground is going to stay cooler so this is also one of the reasons clear skies are also one of the reasons that there is cold wave in southern part of the country at the moment the lack of moisture i just told you that the winds are dry and when there is a lack of moisture the air is cooler in comparison to moist air so when the air is cooler there is a cold wave situation then calm and stable weather conditions are present because we are talking about cool air here when cool air is heavier cool air is normally heavier than the uh, hot air so it settles near the ground and here we witness stable conditions here are normal conditions there is no mixing of cool air and warm air at the moment because this is heavier this is going to uh, stay down this is going to stay closer to the ground and warm air is going to stay up but because the winds are light because the conditions are what stable the winds are light they are not that advanced when the winds are light no mixing is going to happen no mixing of cool and warm air cool air is going to stay below and the warm air is going to stay up and no mixing is happening here because the winds are light because the conditions the weather conditions are calm and they are stable that is why also this area the region uh, that is closer to the ground is going to stay cooler in comparison to the areas that are above so that is why we see a cold wave situation and then right now there's a seasonal transition into winter we are already moving into the winter so naturally more cold waves are expected at the moment temperature is going to fall down so this is also one of the natural reasons because of which we are seeing cold waves in southern part of the country as well northern part already witnesses it but southern part is also witnessing something at the moment because of temperature inversion because of everything because no mixing is happening the moisture laden winds are not present the winds are dry there are stable conditions the skies are clear radiative cooling is happening all these are the scientific reasons behind the cold wave situation in telangana at the moment so that was all for this video we saw what a cold wave is what are the conditions that imd mentions for an area to be experiencing a cold wave and what are the possible reasons behind cold wave in telangana i hope you enjoyed the discussion now as always let us look at a practice question for prelims consider the following statements about cold waves in india one a cold wave is declared by the imd only when the minimum temperature falls below 4 degree celsius irrespective of regional normal temperatures two clear skies and calm winds can intensify cold wave conditions due to strong radiative cooling at night three 
cold waves occur more frequently in North India than in South India because of the influence of western disturbances and cold Himalayan winds. 4. Weak winds inhibit the mixing of warm and cold air, causing cold air to settle near the surface and intensify cold waves. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Your options would be A. Only 1 B. Only 2 C. Only 3 or D. All four. Please read all the statements carefully and attempt this question. Provide your answers in the comment section. Thank you for watching. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.